In this video, I'm gonna answer the question, what is PEMF? Hello, this is Bryant Myers, author of PMF, The Fifth Element of Health. And I'm sitting outside to you to explain what PMF therapy is because fundamentally it's very natural. It's something that we need just like the other elements of health. So most of us are familiar with static magnets. You know, we played around with horseshoe magnets, bar magnets when we were kids. And we've seen how iron filings will go around a, a bar magnet, for example. Well, did you know that with a solenoid or a current loop, you can create the same pure magnetic field if you use just a, a constant DC current. So we can have, we can create magnetic fields with electricity, and this is Ampere's law. So even way back to the ancient Egyptians, ancient Greeks, you know, we've known that magnets are healing and lodestones way back in ancient times were used to heal people with various ailments. But it wasn't up until the late 70s, early 80s that the Eastern European studies showed that pulse magnetic fields worked better and faster than static magnets. So PEMF or pulsed electromagnetic fields are basically a magnetic field that's vibrating or changing with time. So very similar energy. In fact, you can use the same equations for low frequency and low intensity PEMF. Now the Earth has a natural magnetic field. Most of us know from our compasses and just from school that the Earth has a big magnetic field. But most people don't know that the magnetic field of the Earth has a frequency to it. And there's two components. There's the geomagnetic frequencies, which are low subhertz up to three hertz. And then you have the Schumann resonances, which are roughly seven to 50 hertz. So this is P EMF therapy, we are literally getting PMF therapy every day from the Earth. Also, our bodies are biomagnetic. You know, squid magnetometers, very sensitive magnetic field detectors, can detect our magnetic field up to 15 feet into space. And as Dr. Zimmerman and Seto showed, our magnetic field, like the Earth, also vibrates. So the Earth magnetic field's vibrating, which is PMF. And our biomagnetic field is vibrating. As I show in my book and many other videos, the earth magnetic fre frequencies are the same as the body and brain. In fact, heart math has shown that the heart frequencies, the subhertz frequencies of the heart and breathing, link up to the geomagnetic frequencies where the brain, like the alpha brain wave, as I'll show a picture here, is almost identical to the Schumann resonance at seven to eight hertz. So we are deeply connected to planet Earth and these natural PEMFs from the Earth. And they're essential elements. We've evolved for millions of years with these natural PEMFs of the Earth. But right now there's a crisis on planet Earth. It's a twofold problem I talk about. And we're just not getting enough of this natural Schumann resonance from the Earth and the natural geomagnetic frequencies. Why is that? Well, number one, the Earth's magnetic field is declining. And it's about 50% of what it was just several centuries ago. In fact, some studies show that our Earth's magnetic field was at one time 20 times what it is now. And it's probably because we're going through a pole reversal as I talk about in some other videos I've done. And the second half to that problem is we spend too much time indoors. We're 90% of our time we're spending inside, shielded from these natural magnetic fields. So we don't get enough of the good frequencies from the Earth, but then we get too much of the bad with electrosmog, cell phones, Wi-Fi, cell phone towers, you know, with the 5G networks coming in, it's just gonna get worse and worse. So what's the solution to this twofold problem? Well, the solution I say is vitamin P for PEMF. We supplement. Just like Senate document 264 that was released in 1936 showed that our soils were deficient in nutrients and we should probably take nutritional supplements, we also now need to take energetic or electroceuticals to give us this much needed energy from the earth. So how do we know the earth's magnetic fields are essential? Well, there's been studies done, zero field studies that have shown in, in bunkers with Rudger Weber and Valerie Hunt at UCLA, that when you shield the magnetic field from the Earth, all kinds of problems happen. Even the Russian and US space program recognized that bone loss and muscle atrophy take place when we don't get enough of this natural magnetism from the Earth. But beyond just bone loss and muscle atrophy, also we feel an increased sensation of pain, as Dr. Nakagawa showed, insomnia, depression, disorientation, etc. And when you add Earth-inspired, like Schumann resonant type of PMFs, it's the antidote, it's the cure for magnetic deficiency syndrome. So beyond just a natural understanding of how we've evolved in these natural energies and that we need them, there actually are 30,000 research papers, over 30,000 research papers on PMF therapy for over 100 conditions. In fact, PMF therapy is FDA approved for non-union bone fractures, tissue swelling and pain, depression, and even recently in 2011, brain cancer. 
So it's obviously not quackery when we have these long-term studies that has gained FDA's approval. And many orthopedic surgeons, if you have a non-union bone fracture, will prescribe a PMF device to help you to heal that non-union fracture. I mean, it's, it's very significant the amount of research that's been done. So how does PMF therapy work? Well, how it works is through two basic principles in physics. The first is Faraday's law, which says that a changing magnetic field will induce a current in a wire. Now, we're not made of wires, but we do have a lot of charged ions and particles. And a changing magnetic field through Faraday's law is going to sort of move those charges and currents. So through Faraday's law, PMF is inducing microcurrents deep into the body and the tissues. And the reason that it's so effective versus, say, micro microcurrents and other forms of energy medicine is that the human body is transparent to magnetic fields. In fact, magnetic fields are the only form of energy medicine and PMFs that don't get blocked, shielded, reflected, absorbed, or slowed down in any way because the magnetic permeability constant is one, meaning it's just like a vacuum in space. Magnetic fields are going right on through us, just like a wind going through a grassy field. But there is an effect, right, because you do see the blades of grass moving as the wind moves along. So besides Faraday's law, the second important principle from physics is resonance. The key with PMF therapy is not intensity, it's resonance and that rapid rise and fall signal. So when it comes to resonance, Siskin and Walker, Addy and Bowen, the NASA study, and much other research has shown that the main frequencies the tissues and cells in the body resonates to is in the zero to 50 hertz range. So how does PMF heal the body? First of all, I tell people PMF helps the body to heal itself. And there's many, many mechanisms how PMF works, but I've kind of boiled it down to there's two really main ways that PMF helps to heal the body. And it has to do with kinetic and potential energy. So let's start with potential energy. So first and foremost, PMF therapy helps to recharge cellular voltage. And it does this through Faraday's law by moving charged ions around the cell membrane. And it, it does so in ways that simulates exercise. Um, another mechanism I read in a biophysics book is that a changing magnetic field, the, the proteins in the cell membrane act as rectifiers, meaning the charges will go one way, but then won't back up. So through this, you can push charges across the cell membrane and they'll stay. And that's what a battery does. A battery separates charge. Whenever you have separated charges, you have voltage or stored energy. And this cellular voltage is one of the keys to healing, as Dr. Otto Warburg, for example, has shown, meaning I'll show a chart here. Healthy cells always have a high cellular voltage and unhealthy cells start to decline in voltage where cancer's at the bottom rung where you're only getting 15 to 20 millivolts. So this is why PMF is actually FDA approved now for cancer because it increases cell voltage. I mean, that's the primary mechanism as more recently Dr. Dodart and Dr. Connolly have shown. Literally, when you increase cell voltage of cancer, the cancer just stops proliferating. It just stops in its tracks. It stops dividing and the cell membranes swell and get thinner and just pop apoptosis. And it all has to do with increasing cellular voltage. And potential energy is stored energy, right? So when we have more stored energy, it's like our batteries are on green, like your cell phone battery, right? When, you're, when your batteries are fully charged, they can do more. And health is an energy game. And the second half of it has to do with how PMF is inducing current flows. And this idea of flow or movement is so key to health. In fact, you know, a lot of people talk about microcirculation and PMF therapy, but it's more than just circulatory microcirculation. It's actually lymphatic flow, nerve flow, and meridian flow. PMF is just opening up all those channels of flow. And I tell people it's like needleless acupuncture. In fact, we had one acupuncturist that saw similar benefits on her, on her scanners to acupuncture using a whole body PMF mat. So by opening up all these flows, you're able to get nutrients and oxygen into the cells and waste products out. Within the nervous system, it helps with cell-to-cell -cell communication and within the connective tissue matrix, you know, the biophotons and all the communication. So when the body has total interconnection where all these networks are all opened up, then we have total healing. Total connection equals total healing. And interestingly, just to focus on microcirculation a minute, PMF really helps with microcirculation in the only three ways that you can. Number one, it increases nitric oxide to widen the blood vessels. Number two, it helps to dissipate the Rouleau effect, which means by charging the cells, they electrostatically just repel each other. And number three, it lowers the surface tension of water or, or blood or plasma. And so the blood just flows more easily. And again, when you increase microcirculation, you're able to get oxygen and nutrients down into the cells and waste products out. And again, this is one of the keys to healing and regeneration. People that are sick typically have poor, low cellular voltage and poor circulation. So, what do you get, so what's the experience of PMF when you use it every day? Well, first of all, what you notice when you lay on the mat, you feel a sense of warmth, sometimes tingling. Your body softens and relaxes. You know, people report much more energy during the day and relaxation and better sleep at night. In fact, 
within more energy, PMF therapy helps your muscles to work harder, longer, and recover faster, as research has shown. Meaning if you're an athlete, you're gonna be able to perform better. Now, even though I've seen PMF therapy help people with cancer, MS, lupus, Lyme disease, traumatic brain injury, cardiovascular heart issues, kidney disease and kidney failure, just the whole gamut, I think one of the best ways to use a PMF device is for prevention. There was a study done by Siskin and Walker that showed when you severed a nerves in a rat purposely, they used PMF therapy afterwards and the rats recovered more quickly. But the really interesting thing about this study was that if they used PMF therapy on the rats before they severed the nerve, the rats recovered just as quickly as when they were treated afterwards, meaning using PMF before an injury or before a traumatic event can give you the same amount of healing as using it after. Now, of course, you want to do it before and after if you have one, but isn't that interesting how you can, with just prevention alone, help to speed up the healing and recovery of any type of injury? So this is why I tell people to use a PMF therapy eight minutes twice a day. So what is the best PMF device? Well, there's three things that you want to look for. Number one is the signal. Number two is the coils. And number three is, is it safe? So the first thing is the signal. There's two components to the signal. And I tell people you want to look at a signal with two eyes. In the eye of the oscilloscope, it'll show you the signal in the time domain. And that's kind of what does the signal look like? So you want a rapid rise and fall signal like a square wave or a sawtooth. They have a very abrupt rise and fall. And through Faraday's law, that's gonna give you maximum ion transport to give you maximum charging of your cells. The second eye is a spectrum analyzer, and that shows you the signal in the frequency domain. And what you wanna see from a spectrum analyzer is a broad spectrum of frequencies in the biologically active range. And this is important because it's only through resonance that your cells are gonna vibrate and respond to a PMF signal. And I've looked at a lot of PMF devices that have simplistic signals, and they're just not gonna give you a broad spectrum of frequencies to create any significant healing and biological effect. The Beamer, IMRS, QRS, Metathera, and a couple other systems that have really good signals, they're good and have many testimonials and much positive feedback because they have a broad spectrum of frequencies. So that way they're gonna interact very favorably with the body's tissues and cells to create energy, improve microcirculation, oxygenation, ATP production, et cetera. Number two, the coils. So I've got a, a PMF coil here. So you want ideally larger, this is a smaller coil. In fact, here's a smaller coil yet. So I tell people that PMF therapy, the coils is related to how much energy you're getting. So if you have 20 microtesla here and 20 microtesla here, you're gonna get 121 times more energy than here because the area here is 121 times more. So with a PMF therapy device, you absolutely want a full body mat to cover your whole body and you want larger, tightly wound circular coils. Also, most good PMF therapy devices will have handheld applicators to work on localized spots. And thirdly, is it safe? Now, you don't need high intensity. I've done several videos on this. More is not better, less is more. And there's actually many studies to show that a low frequency, low intensity PMF device or a low frequency, low intensity PMF signal works better than high intensity. But more importantly, high intensity by ICNIRP standards, that's the International Commission of Non-Ionizing Radiation Protection, and also IEE, DIN, WHO, and many others, but all those high intensity ringer devices that make your muscles twitch, they are not safe to use every day. And this is not my opinion. This is international regulatory agencies that, that establish the safety of time varying magnetic fields in the workplace and at home. And I'm gonna put a link below this video so you can see that. So there's a lot of confusion in the PMF industry saying that you need higher intensity. And a lot of these so-called experts use an inverse square law incorrectly and Faraday's law incorrectly to justify needing high intensity. And, you, and they get answers that are off by over 5,000%. So low frequency, low intensity has more than enough energy to get all the way through the body. So, but it is important to get a device that's safe so you can use it every day and get those daily benefits. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I have many more videos coming. Leave some comments. I'd like to know what you think and, and tell me if there's any other videos that you'd like to see in the realm of PMF therapy. So thanks again and have a great rest of your day.